Hi everyone and good morning. So today I'll be talking to us on how to um, enroll for courses in Coursera. Um, one of the importance of this is that it helps to build your CV. So applying for scholarship is not um, a child's play. You know, for somebody to decide to invest in you and pay um, millions of naira when you convert it to naira, like you have thirty five pounds, that's five euro, that's five thousand pounds. Sorry. So when you convert it to naira, then you know how much these um, organization are willing to invest in you. So they they must see something that is special in you for them to want to invest in you. So the first um approach i would recommend is uh downloading this uh, app called Coursera. it will help you to enroll in different courses so you can build your saving for instance those of us in science um depending on what you want to do for your masters for instance you want to do public health uh like i did um uh what's it called uh, you want to study something relating to cancer biology, um, whatever, even art, you just go to your Coursera, then you create your, uh, you register more like login process, and then you enroll for courses. So because they paid for it, there's a way you can apply for financial assistance, and with that, they will be able to waive the fee for you so you can study the course um, free. So what it entails is that you, if you see a course you like to do, then you apply for financial assistance. It usually takes two weeks for it to be out. Then once it's out, they will send you a an email then telling you that they have waived the course fee for you. If you start this course without receiving this email, that means you have to pay and they will not give you any certificates okay so um, once you've registered just follow the instruction is very simple then you will look for courses you want to do okay for instance you are in a uh, health um, sector you can simply type something like um, um, cancer biology cancer biology So these are different courses we have in cancer biology taught by different um, university. For instance, you can see Introduction to Biology of Cancer by John Hopkins University. And uh, you can see Introduction to Breast Cancer, Yale University. So whichever one you like, you can just click on it. Normally they will tell you it takes one to three months to complete. But I, I bet you, like, if you put in time, you can complete one even within three days four days so for instance let's look at this cancer biology here you click on it yeah so they will tell you 100% online flexibly flexible deadline beginner level approximately four months to complete but you can complete it within three days four days and the skills you will learn then how to how the specialization work it is a and a certificate so like I said you pay money for this course but because you don't have money like i don't so what you do is you click on this place you see financial aid available financial aid available you click on it and they will say application takes at least 15 days to get reviewed continue to the application um continue to the application for the course cancer biology you now press apply so is going to bring out like ask you some questions of why you need financial help so they'll ask you your education if you are in uh, uh if what you have is bsc you scroll here and then you select college degree or you, you select high degree or masters whichever one you have your annual income like I usually tell them, you convert your annual income to Canadian dollar or um, uh, whichever country you're making use of. So I usually set my annual income to be um, 
fifty fifty dollar and then employment status you could be full-time you could be part-time you can also be unemployed if you're a student so they will not ask you reason why you're applying for aid so these are the reasons i wrote down and um, i can send it across if you want like i said i'm a determined young nigerian poised to make it against or odd you know reason why do you want to why do you want them to waive this fee for you so there are several reasons one you're not working two you are paying in another currency of which if you convert the money in the country you are you cannot be able to afford it maybe because of the type of job you have you're a student you broke at the moment but you have interest in doing this course and you are pleading to them to please waive the uh, fee for you in order for you to participate in this course and gain the available um, knowledge you need to further your education so that's the main reason you're applying for this course so reason you apply for the aid like right reasonable something i even went ahead mentioning um how much dollar was equivalent to naira then and that was 680 nigerian naira imagine how much it is and i think it's about 1000 for 1005 so these are valid reasons why you cannot even afford it so i made mention that i actually came from a poor background so even my parents can't help me as well then um they ask another question reason you applied for it that's one question um you take this i have reviewed my information and everything is up to date and then you click next um, i don't want to um, do this course guys because i've already done it in the past i think so that's why i can see my details here so you click next and then the last question is they will ask you um how much can you pay for your selected course like okay you don't have the full amount how much can you afford so i usually put zero zero i cannot afford any i beg so i usually put zero i'm sorry i can't afford any but if you can afford like if you can afford why not okay why not you you pay to gain knowledge right so if you can afford if you can afford five dollar you can afford ten dollar you can put it there but at that point when i was making this application i couldn't afford any so that's why i chose zero okay so the last question is how will you how will your selected course help with your goals so this course you want to do how will it help with your goal how will it help with your vision your ambition so it's just a straightforward response um i hope you can just say something like um that you're applying for this course because you believe that one it will enrich your cv and you have intention of applying different scholarship you mentioned um, the name of the scholarship like the Shevning, like commonwealth scholarship and you believe that completing the scholarship will enrich your cv and help you to compete with other people who are uh who will also be applying for the scholarship and um you know also you can state that the knowledge you gain at the end of this um um course will actually help you in the field which you intend to move in like of course we know that if you read arts in nigeria you can move abroad and decide to do science so they don't do that shit we do in nigeria like where i i i, I met somebody who studied i think mass cam but she's studying nursing here so we don't do uh, i'm arts person i'm science person that kind of a thing so the main thing is you justify the reason why you want to shift in your discipline that's the main reason so if you're art you want to move to science this is an opportunity okay as long as you get um, admission this body will fund you so one of the criteria is getting admission and trust me you want to enrich your CV and this is the first process so this scholarship I mentioned are starting in the next three four months so imagine having up to 10 certificates before that time I bet you your certificate will your uh, resume Will be looked at at least five times before they will drop you even if they will so um that's it for now so you just click um, i'm sharing accurate information on my application i commit to finishing my coursera courses because many people will start this and they will never finish it and you are spoiling market for people who are serious who want to benefit from this so whenever you like my advice will be you can register to course and if you feel like 
you're starting to like this you can register for more courses remember it takes two weeks for your financial um assistance or financial uh wherever you applied for your financial area to be way for you to be assisted like so you need two weeks so you have to plan it if you don't want to be bored within two weeks you can apply for two then after one week that's what i used to do after one week i'll apply for another one so that i can do it concurrently without resting and i tell you within three days you already finished one you add it to your cv they will send you a certificate they will send you a transcript you see how uh, how you did in each of them which is lovely okay and all this is what build your cv so you can even use your phone to do it at a point i was using my phone because my laptop was having issue and all that but there are some courses that will require you to use your laptop like if you're applying for um data science or programming and the rest you know depending on the phone you're using i'm not making use of iphone like you guys anyway so um that's one of the thing i want to uh, point then you now click on i'm not a robot and you review and then submit like I said, I don't want to submit this because I already done this course. All right. So um, let me know if you have any difficulty. I can just come on this uh, comment section and um, clarify everything. I'm sorry. The video is going to be short and uh, maybe I'm rushing it. I don't know. But I believe if you follow this guideline, you you will, um, you will be able to complete it. So um, lastly, let me just show you how the certificate looks like so um i have to go back and then go to my profile so these are the various um, certificates i've acquired from um Coursera. so you can see data everywhere data i have done introduction to genomic technology you have to get yourself updated because the type of um, machine they use i mean developed countries different from what we use in nigeria in nigeria we're still using a kind of old technique to you know analyze data here they now have things like uh uh, PCR machine, they have bulk RNA sec, they have a uh, um, uh, proteomics, different things. So, like this um, genomic technology where they use um, next generation sequencing, that one is becoming old. We are not even started using it in Nigeria, so you have to more like update yourself on the recent um, um, tools that we use in research now. So I did things like dynamic of infectious diseases, a lot of them. So you have the privilege to choose as many as possible. So you must complete any course that you've started. That's the, the one of the good things. Because if you do not complete it and you apply for another one and another one, it doesn't make sense, right? So um, guys, I wish us good luck. Um, soon we'll talk about how to do this application. But before then, you need to enrich your CV because that's what's important. You need to enrich your CV. Thank you so much.